YouTube, what's good and welcome back to the channel. We are back with yet another weekly recap of everything going on in the sneaker world right now. And I know you guys are probably wondering, why am I wearing sunglasses? Well, just so you guys know, a couple of days ago, I did end up getting laser eye surgery. My eyes right now are extremely sensitive to light. So as per the doctor's orders, he told me I needed to wear these for a few days until my eyes get adjusted a little bit. So that is why I got the glasses in this video. And by the way, just as a side note, laser surgery for all my people out there with glasses, Highly recommend it. The whole thing took like 10 minutes. You feel like maybe two hours of pain right after. And after that, it's like the whole world is in 4K all of a sudden. It's an incredible feeling. As someone who's been wearing glasses for 20 years, it was a pretty incredible feeling. But anyways, enough about that. We're here to talk about sneakers. There's a lot going on this week, so let's get to it. So easily the biggest news story of the week was this update from Nike. So Nike is gonna be taking some big steps in order to stop sneaker resellers and sneaker bots. They're gonna start really cracking down. Some of these potential penalties include restocking fees, refusal to issue refunds, and account suspensions. So this means exactly what you guys are thinking. Nike is gonna start Start banning the children of their own executives from using the platform. <laughs> yeah, but all jokes aside, so the first place I saw this article was on the Wall Street Journal. And my first thought was, hey, nobody is reselling those. Whatever these are, whatever you guys got this picture from, no one is interested in reselling these guys. Come on, do a little bit more research, get a better picture up on your site. I did read the new terms and conditions from Nike, and by the way, this is only gonna apply to US customers for now. So all my European resellers out there, you guys are safe right now. The part that I found most interesting in the terms and conditions was where it said, if Nike determines that a purchase or order is intended for resale. So they're gonna start issuing you fees and banning your account if they determine that you purchase something for the purpose of resale. And this is where I'm like, this could either go well or it could go horribly wrong. I would like to know how exactly Nike is gonna determine the intended purpose of a purchase. The article went on to say that retailers might be able to connect the dots and figure out who's using bots by looking at similar shipping addresses from multiple orders, or they might start tying orders to identity verification in the future. Whatever it is, I'm very interested to find out how exactly Nike is gonna get this done. Leave some thoughts in the comments. How do you think Nike is gonna determine what the intended purpose of a purchase is? So what's my take on the whole thing? Well, I think the timing of this is very interesting. I personally think every move that a corporation makes is always for one reason and one reason only, and that is profit. Nike has known that there's been a sneaker bot problem for a long time, so why are they making it a big deal right now? My opinion is because currently the resale market is absolutely crashing. So the sneaker resellers out there, they're still buying everything. They're still using their bots to cop everything from the sneakers app. But one major difference right now is that they're returning everything that is not reselling. So Nike is looking at their warehouse, seeing all of these returns piled up. Even last week, I mentioned in my sneaker update video that the Nike inventories right now in the USA are up 65% compared to the previous year. So now Nike is looking at all these returns coming in and they're like, Hey, we got a real problem here. We need to fight the resellers. So even though Nike is using this to gain some positive press and make it seem like they're doing it for the sneaker community, what I really think is going on here is that I think Nike is just trying to find a reason to not issue you a refund. I think they're trying to crack down on returns and refunds more than they're trying to crack down on the bots, but that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comments what do you guys think. I do think Nike has the resources to make this a pretty effective policy. I just found the timing a little bit interesting. Let's move on to New Balance. So Teddy Santis, he has been destroying the wallets of sneakerheads all year long so far with everything he's been doing for Made in USA at New Balance. That was season one and now we got season two on the way. This image leak, there will be another 16 shoes on the way and based on pictures, it seems like this round of sneakers seems to be a lot more colorful whereas season one featured a lot more tonal colors. It seems like it's getting bigger and brighter in season two. On first glance, nothing really stood out to me but of course, it's very tough to say from these images. What I did notice, however, is that all the way at the back, the final two shoes there, it looks like those are the New Balance 990 V6 that we've all been getting teased now for over a year and a half. So those two are the ones I am looking forward to the most. Let me know down in the comments, based on these pictures, what are you guys thinking of copying? And speaking of New Balance, so the New Balance 1906R has released in three 
pretty amazing colorways a gray colorway green as well as red they're currently available on new balance usa website and surprisingly they are sitting right now on the new balance usa website and i am very jealous of all my american viewers right now because if these released in europe i would buy these on the very first day and i actually think that these colorways here look better than any other collab on the 1906r we've seen this year the retail price on these as well it's 150 so it is cheaper than the 990s that we're used to i think they're pretty amazing colorways currently sitting on new balance usa so make sure you cop them before they sell out moving on to jordan brands so the bmx extraordinaire himself nigel sylvester it looks like he's coming out with yet another color colorway of the Jordan 1, this time a pretty simple black and white colorway. And it does seem to have those scuff marks, which we've also seen on his first colorway as well, to basically symbolize that you should be wearing these when riding your bikes or doing whatever activities. Don't be afraid to get your shoes dirty. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? We don't have a release date for these. Personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the original Nigel Sylvester. I get the concept, but visually, I wasn't a massive fan of it. This colorway may be a bit too simple for me, but what do you guys think? Some more news as well from Jordan Brand. The Jordan 1 Gorge Green will be releasing on November the 26th. Pretty simple colorway here. You got this Gorge Green color, which looks almost very similar to the Jordan 1 Pine Green, the green we saw on that pair. Except this time it comes with a silver swoosh. You guys might be getting flash of the Jordan 1 Bordeaux that dropped last year except this time it's in a green color. I'm willing to bet that this pair is probably not going to sell out especially if it retails at that price of 180. We already know in November sneakerheads out there have their mind on one pair and one pair only and that is the Chicago Lost and Founds. The chances of this gorge green pair selling out are pretty minimal. And finally, another pair I wanted to talk about. Yeah, pretty slow news week, I would say, in the sneaker world. But one more pair that will be releasing on this coming Monday is the Nike SB Dunk Low Skate Like a Girl. Now, Skate Like a Girl is a nonprofit which empowers women and transgender athletes to become leaders through the power of skateboarding. And this shoe is expected to tremendously increase the awareness of this nonprofit group. And I thought it was really cool of Nike to partner up with not yet another skate shop, but instead a nonprofit nonprofit organization and help spread their message of empowering people through the power of skateboarding. I thought that was really great. The colorway on the shoe, I guess it's a pretty simple color blocking. Seems like it's got like a Bordeaux color with some cream panels in there as well. And the swoosh this time is made out of corduroy. And there's also some more corduroy seen on the tongue as well as the inner lining. Pretty decent pair overall. They should be pretty difficult to get as with most SPs, but watch out for that on Monday, October the 17th. That's the official release date on the sneakers app. And that's about it for this week. Yeah, not a lot going on in the sneaker world this week, but the big news of course being that Nike is trying to crack down on reselling. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And by the way, I really appreciate everyone who's been watching this series and commenting consistently, chatting with you guys in the comments, in my DMs on Instagram, definitely my favorite thing about this whole YouTube thing. So I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.